so if i write const x equals to an array of 1 2 3 okay this gives me undefined so x is 1 2 3 now let me create a variable y let y equals to uh, an array i am spreading out x like this and if i write y it is again 1 2 3 okay this is pretty much uh, knowable everyone knows about it uh, i don't know warnings now um what if i do y dot push uh let's say five or four so y is one two three four now but what about x it is still one two three okay this is very much acceptable and everyone knows about it but if you have a multi uh, if you have a nested array if you have a nested object in the x at the first place what will happen so let me refresh it for you and x is not there so if i write uh let me clear this const x equals to array there is another array there is zero and there is a one two okay this is like this this is x for us so x is in multi x is in array containing three elements first one is array as well and one two are what one two are the normal values just items again i create a variable i can use y uh, as a const as well yeah i can use uh, so in the previous exam uh, example i used let you can use const as well that is there is no harm there so const y equals to again i am spreading out x like this all right now if i just say that y of zero dot push uh i have what uh zero one two if i push three like this okay so what is y y is zero three and one two okay zero three in the zero three names because it is an array of uh it is an array of size two containing zero and three and apart from the zero index there are normal one two elements now hold on to your screens and tell me what would be the value of x over here will it i hope you are still guessing that it is going to be a uh, zero one two that was before but trust me it is not going to that it is not that easy javascript is really really complex sometimes and if i write x over here you can see that it has copied version of uh zero three and it is having one two completely different different behavior right i didn't add it three inside x then how come x is having value of three inside its own and why uh you know why this is happening let me explain let me explain don't get your heartbeat fast okay i am here to explain uh this is js yatra and we are not like any other ordinary course Trust me, if you are on JS Cafe, if you are on JS Yadra, you do not have to subscribe to any other channel. I will be taking care of everything for you. Okay, I am there to help. So all you need is JS Yadra and JS Cafe in your life. All right, let me explain this. So before explaining, again, if I try to do something like y dot push five, if I write five. I am having five over here, zero three as it is. Now will five be there in X or not? Let us see. It is not going to be there in X, but three was added in X automatically, but five was not added. Let me explain. Let us come to the first part. Okay. So X zero one two. So zero over here is a nested array. So whenever inside any in whenever in whenever you are inside in any array or in any object, if there is a multi-level nesting, any kind of multi-level nesting, array within array, object inside array, uh, array inside object, whatsoever. Okay, whatsoever kind of nesting is there, 
and if you are using a shallow copy what are the methods that perform a shallow copy you can go to over here okay and read this statement in javascript all built in object copy operations okay array dot prototype concat slice from assign create okay they create a shallow copy and include the spread operator thing as well okay these all are spread shallow copy things and these are not deep copies so every shallow copy it what it does is it copies perfectly fine up to the first level only and if there is a nesting instead of creating a separate memory in the javascript what it does is it takes the reference of the memory okay so when i created x and when i created y so when i created y by using spread operator so for 1 and 2 it created a fresh memory in the javascript storage in the browser storage or wherever you want it created a fresh memory for 1 2 but for this particular 0 it copied it reference and directly stored it in y okay it directly stored it in y so when i mutated this particular uh, thing this particular zero i was actually making changes in the memory reference okay now since in y this particular zero is sharing a memory they are having a com common memory reference that is why that is why this particular thing got updated in x also okay but for first level of nesting 1 and 2 it was uh, making a duplicate copy in the memory and whenever we are updating like y dot push 5 it was making changes to the first level so it was not having any reference copy of memory and it created a duplicate one so this is a thing for us so to copy multi level objects to copy multi level nested objects you can do is uh, i can refresh it and i create another array you can use json dot parse and json dot stringify these this is the deep copy thing okay what i mean by deep copy is you will understand right now so const x equals to okay const x equals to again i create the same example uh, 0 1 2 this is x okay now i create y const y equals to but instead of spread operator or doing any shallow copy i am doing json dot stringify and i pass x over here like this okay you can see that i am still getting that uh, same thing same array as x but now if i try to do y of 0 dot push 3 okay and if i try to write y i am getting 0 3 1 2 if i try to write x you can see that this time it was not copied okay so this is the power of uh, this is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy and json dot stringify is a good way uh, to copy nested objects uh, but yeah that is only for the explanation part uh, uh, for the deep copy and the shallow copy